and let us turn to God once more in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, God of all kindness, you gave your only Son because you loved the world so much. In your loving purpose, listen to our prayers. Fulfill our hopes, and in all things we pray, give us, give us the will to seek to bring them about. We pray for the peace of the world. Lord, move among us by your Spirit. Break down barriers of fear, suspicion, and hatred. Heal the human family of its divisions. Unite us in the bonds of justice and peace. O oh Lord, we pray for our community, for our common life, for our country. Enrich us together. Strengthen the forces of truth, goodness, and teach us to share prosperity so that those whose lives are impoverished may pass from need and despair into dignity and joy. O oh Lord, today we pray for those who suffer. We especially pray for all those who have been so impacted by the cold, especially those in Texas without power, heat, even water. Surround all those who suffer with your love. Support them with your strength. Console them with your comfort and give them hope and courage beyond themselves. O oh Lord, we pray also for all those affected by the pandemic. We pray for those awaiting vaccines. We pray for those long haulers still feeling deep effects. We pray for all who have lost loved ones or seen loved ones suffer, sick and in pain. O oh Lord, we pray for our families. We pray for those whom we love. Protect them at home. Support them in times of difficulty and anxiety so that we might grow together in mutual love and understanding and rest content in one another. O oh Lord, we also pray for the body of Christ, the church. We pray for our church, for our congregation, for Plymouth Presbyterian Church. As we engage in our congregational annual meeting, be with us. Keep us true to the gospel in the year to come and responsive to the gifts and needs of all. O oh Lord, above all, make known your saving power in Jesus Christ through the witness of our faith, our worship, and our life. In this time of Lent, it is Christ we seek to serve. It is Christ we seek to model our lives of discipleship upon. It is, Christ, it is in Christ that we remember our covenant with you. Restore that covenant again and again in the name of Jesus the Christ, the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, a reminder once more that our annual meeting will be at 1030 held over Zoom. And uh, please reach out to me if you need that invite. I'll be at my computer at 1030 on Sunday morning. And then ascending for us all. Wherever you go this week, wherever you are, wherever God finds you, hold this with you. Be in the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Support the weak, help the suffering, honor all God's children, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may God, who creates, redeems, and sustains, keep you steadfast in faith, buoyant in hope, and abounding in love. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be and remain with you all, now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord.